Hello and welcome back to Bee Boss Kitchen. Today I would like to make divinity for you. Uh, it's always been said that you can't make divinity or you shouldn't make divinity if the humidity is high. Well, I've made divinity for years and years and I've made it with the sun shining and it turns out really good. I've made it when it was storming outside and it turns out really good. I want to show you on my phone the humidity level. It is actually raining here today. I want to show you, it says right now that the humidity is 70, let's see, 77%. Let me focus in on this. And you can see that it says it's raining. So, I want to show you that you actually can cook divinity when it's raining outside. The secret to successful divinity is cooking your syrup to the proper stage. So I'm going to get started now and listen to the rain. You hear that? It is pouring. Okay, well let's get started. I'm going to start with two and a third cups of granulated sugar for my syrup. Two thirds cup of k -Ray or white corn syrup and a half a cup of water. And what I like to do is pour my water into the corn syrup, give it a stir and mix it up. And then pour that into the sugar. And I will stir that all together. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm going to turn it on high. I want this to come to a rolling boil and then I'll put a lid on it for one minute so that it'll wash the sugar crystals down that's on the sides of my pot. In the meantime, I'm going to be whipping two egg whites to stiff peaks. So I'm going to do that while the syrup is starting to cook. And I'll be right back with you. Two egg whites going in. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to whip the egg whites until they form stiff peaks. Check and see. Nice and stiff. Okay, now I'm going to take my whisk off of my mixer. And I will put my beater paddle The syrup is slowly coming to a boil here. Okay, it's come to a full rolling boil, so I'm going to put my lid on it for one minute. Okay, that's been one minute. And as you can see, it has washed the sugar crystals off of the side of the pot. And now I'm going to let that cook. I'll put a thermometer in. and cook it until it reaches about 265 degrees, which will be um, right around the hard ball stage. I have a glass of water, just regular cold water, and I will test my syrup in that to see if it's cooked as much as it needs to be cooked. Mm. 
your syrup will start making little thread like strings when it gets ready. They're not quite, it's not quite done enough. I'm up to 250 degrees. We want to bring it up to about 265. Okay, we're up to 265 degrees. So I'm going to take this up. Let's do a water test. Oh yes, it's ready. Okay. Now I'm going to pour it in over my egg whites while I beat them to high speed. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. You want to beat it until the, it kind of takes the gloss off of the candy. I'm going to add my nuts, and I like a lot of nuts in my divinity, so I'm doubling the recipe. It calls for three quarters of a cup, but I'm doing a cup and a half, and they're fairly large pieces, you can see, because it's going to be beating, and it will kind of uh, chop the nuts up a little bit more while it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. Okay, let's clean the batter on beater, not the batter, the beater. Clean off the beater. Okay. I think that's pretty good very hot. It's starting to set up. What I have done is put down a sheet of wax paper and I will spoon out the divinity. It's got to cool a little bit and then I'll be able to spoon it right out. It'll keep its form and looks looks really good. Take a look at this. It's really raining outside. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Can you see the rain coming down out there? This has to cool a little bit. It's still super hot.
a lot of times I'll stick it back on the mixer and beat it for just a minute or two and it's like I think I'll try that and let's see if it'll speed up the process. I'm going to beat it for just a minute. I think actually what that does is it releases some of the heat um, when you start stirring it around. It opens it up and lets some of the heat escape. Okay, we're ready to spoon up. Just doing that little bit of stir with the mixer really helps to speed up the process of it setting up. We are really having a heavy rain out there. So, you see my point? You can make divinity when it's pouring rain outside. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. wants to break apart on you, you just kind of squeeze it together. Our divinity. Mm. Let me wash my hands. As you can see, we made our divinity. It was pouring rain outside. And look at this. Nice, well set divinity. And now, let's try it out. Mm. I love this stuff. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll try this. Just remember to cook your syrup to the proper uh, stage that it needs to be. And your divinity will turn out. Sun, rain, it makes no difference. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You want a bite? Try that. Oh my gosh. If you haven't subscribed, excuse me, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would like for you to do so. I would appreciate it so much if you would give me the support and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Post a comment and I'll reply back to you. This recipe will be in the description box. And until the next time, this is Beba. Don't forget to click on the bell and it will be um, it'll notify you when I do another video. Thank you so much for being with me today. God bless you and your family and until I see you again, have a great day.